<laughs> Dude, just like. Aren't you supposed to choke? Oh, you um, want me to choke you? That's my strength. No, wait. Shut you're... up. Die, bitch. <laughs> I thought you were gonna. But stay there. I'm on my way. Cause it's 12 a.m. and I see you since yesterday. So why? Baby, I'm right here now. I got a show in LA where it's sold out. So what's up guys, it's your boy DeMarc Anthony here And today we got a new public interview for y'all I hope y'all enjoy this video And yes, we met Brett Gray in this video And I hope y'all enjoy it And yeah, we'll just cut right to it So today we're here with Wesley Gabby We're doing a porno So Okay <laughs> Would you snitch on your homies or would you cheat on your girls? The first question what? Like either or, or like yes or like You gotta these. pick one Like would you Oh, snitch? I'd yeah. rather I don't know, snitch. Are you serious right now, bro? On your homies or cheat on your girl? Oh. I think I'd rather... Well, it depends. Like, how much time are they going to get? Is it, like, serious? Yeah, like ten, yeah, ten years. Ten years. I'd rather cheat. I'd, I think I could handle that better than hand the snitching, you yeah, know? Yeah, your homies come first, right? Yeah, sorry. Oh, you mad, bro? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I might snitch. Ooh, okay, okay. So the next question is going to be, if you were to be a girl for a day and you were to be a guy for a day, What's the first thing y'all would do? I probably would try and get laid. You try to get yeah. laid? Oh, shit, less. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, I, hey, you're at least honest with it. I mean, I would too. Um, I definitely just like go pee standing up. Hey. <laughs> sometimes it's, it's sometimes <laughs> you gotta experience the fire hose. So the next and last final question is: If there is one regret that you have in life, what is that biggest regret? Oh shit. Um, probably just not not traveling enough. Like not taking opportunity, like money opportunities and shit. I'll yeah. put you on that one. I'm I'd say not taking risks. Risk? Yeah. I understand that one. I'll Let me make okay. sure that the top is. <laughs> All right. All right. We're good. We're good. All right. So today we're here with Brett Gray. Uh, 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 this is uh, definitely not Jamal. Awesome. Awesome. Dang. <laughs> So the first question is gonna be, what's the biggest red flags in a female? Let him. And you can give me three if you feel comfortable. Um, mean. Nobody mean. Don't be with anybody who's rude or disrespectful in any type of way. Period. Uh, uh. Come on, you stupid brain. What? Yeah, just I would say like overall, like you can't sit with us type energy. We don't want that. All mm, good vibes. No. We don't yes. want that. We yeah. don't want that. Just so the next question is going to be, if you were to be a female for a day, what's the first thing? What did he say? thing you would do? Uh, get my hair done because I feel like it would feel good. Like them playing in your scalp mm. and, uh, you know, with their nails and all the things. You know how y'all do. <laughs> and the last and final question is going to be, you could tell your ex one thing, bro. What is one thing you would tell him? I still hope you're doing well. Aww. I don't know what you got going on in your life, but hope you're good. I tried to do the same thing with my ex, but she blocked me right after. And she should have. <laughs> Oh, shit, did you hear that? Oh, well, damn. <laughs> well, damn, bro. <laughs> Alright, so today we're here with Brayden Laurel. Ethan. First question is gonna be What is the biggest red flags in a girl, bro? Um, I'm gay. Okay, tell me in a guy, in a guy. Um, oh, I'm put on the spot. Okay. Eric, what's a red flag? Go, go, go. Mullet. Oh, mullet. Mullet? I would have to agree. Mullet? Don't you have a mullet? Bitch. No. no. <laughs> Alright, so the next question is gonna be if you could tell your ex one thing right now, what would you tell him? Um <laughs> You can be as honest as you want, bro. I hate you. And so the last and final question is how you word this? What does your gun sound sound like? My gun? Yeah. Oh. Um pew pew. <laughs> Alright, so today we're here with Jorge. So first question is gonna be if you were to be a female for a day, bro, what's the first thing you would do? Stop. Bark, bro. Yeah, honestly, I feel a little whore. I ain't gonna lie. Naughty, naughty. You teasing me. Bro. You're gonna fuck around and you're back to work, bro. okay? Bro. Back to work. Bro. <laughs> probably, bro. Yeah, probably you, be the first thing I do. Like, it's, a guy come up to you on 6th Street right now and say, like, come home with me. You gonna fuck? Oh, I don't know about that one. I got standards, you know, mm. bro. Period. But if they're like, hey, free drink, shit. Hey, hey shit. You <laughs> Uh, the next question is gonna be, what is the biggest red flag in a female, bro? Uh, you can give me three. Bro, definitely communication. Gotcha. They automatically think like you know what's wrong and you don't. You oh, know? overthinking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Going out too much for Ooh. sure. Bro. 
Even me, I don't go out, bro. Like, I'm working right here. Like, if I'm not working, I'm not down here. Exactly. Like, say she went to Cielo every fucking weekend. You gonna, Is that a red flag? I want to say every weekend, bro. It's, it's, like, it's cool to go out every once in a while, but not every weekend. Now, the last and final question is, if there was one thing you regretted in life, what is that one thing? <laughs> oh, man. One thing I regret in life? Honestly, bro, I don't think I regret anything in life. Because then I wouldn't be here right now. Exactly. I, I kind of like where I'm at right now. So exactly. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. All right. So today we're here with uh, Alejandro. Atiri. So the first question is going to be, what is the biggest red flags in a female and a guy? On a female, um, <laughs> I don't know. My female doesn't have red flags. Oh. <laughs> okay. You sure? You, I mean, yeah. You can whisper it and into the camera. She won't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe it can be just like a general, like it well, all. in general, it can be like when they don't want to go out with you guys. That means that means something. Cause mm. sometimes they just want to text you and then they won't go out with you. Oh, so basically, yeah. kind of just playing you. Yeah. Oh, okay. And for you, what is it for like a guy? What's the biggest red flags in general? When they don't offer to pay. What do you mean by that? Oh. Oh, like first date type thing, right? So if you don't pay on the first date, it makes you pay. That's just it for you? Or when they want to split the bill. <laughs> Got him. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. For oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> All right, so the next question is going to be, how much is the fit, bro? We got we to gotta ask, how um, much is the fit? But let's start Let's start with yours, I bro. I paid um, 2300 on these. Damn! They look like scammy because I got them on StockX when they were like really hype. Uh, these were like, like 30. 40? Yeah, they were on this one. They were like 37. Okay, okay. And then this, I don't know, this first. What did he say? Hey! Oh, oh is it? And then, hey, good thing y'all fit the then, same clothes. Uh, <laughs> the chain, 1.5. Boy, if you don't get. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, hey, diamond tester, real quick. No, I just got, I don't got what I got. Um, that's from Goodwill. Ooh, my okay. shirt's, my shirt's from Goodwill either. Okay. These are from CVS. Oh, the this sweats? Twelve dollars. Hey, we're going to CVS next to go get some sweats. Yeah, my boyfriend bought me this. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Uh -huh. All right, so the last and final question's gotta be, if you were to be a female and a guy for a day, what is the first thing you would do? I would just go party, bro, like go crazy, party. yeah. What? Go party, like what? crazy. Why the fuck you lying? I'd go to, like, what would you do if you were like the different gender? I'll fuck bitches. Hey, you gotta, I know you wanna fuck bitches, but you just don't wanna say right now, right? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just <laughs> what is your, What sound does your gun make? Okay, okay. Here you <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's a moan. I don't think that's a gun noise. Caca. Caca. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so today we're here with Chris and Seth. So the first question is gonna be what is one thing you regret with your ex? Let him go. You can be I would say not knowing. Being manipulated. Mm. Manipulated. Yeah, I was manipulated by my ex too, and she she ran me over and got me over thousands of dollars, bro. And then for you, I say probably how I did her. I love you did her dirty. I kind of miss oh. I like from time to time. So the next question is gonna be, what is one of the biggest red flags in a female? Bodies. Give me three, if you want to. Bodies. 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 Honesty. And if she for the streets, then like it's straight like that. It's a straight red flag. <laughs> so all right, let's see. What's like the cutoff limit for you on the red flag on bodies? Oh no, five and up. Damn! Five and up? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go five and up. Five, five and, and up. up. For your red flags, what do you guys say? Um, I'd probably say the same thing as Chris, pretty much. Like, bodies and like, just like, talking to multiple people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Not being like, honest, trustworthy, you know? Just being shady. So the last and final question is gonna be, if you could tell your ex one thing right now, what would you tell her? I wouldn't say nothing. I haven't talked to her in a long time. Keep it that way. <laughs> but if you want, if you wanted to say one thing to her, oh, like good luck. Good, good luck. luck. Yeah. Hey, at least you're being no nice hate. Guy. No hate. But no like, hate. I still got hate because she had hickeys on her neck. But it's okay. Oh damn. Yeah, and I I probably say like, hope you're doing well. Miss oh. you. Yeah. I said that and she blocked me. Yeah. I, I got know. blocked too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today we're here with William. First question is gonna be if you could tell your ex one thing right now, what would you tell her? Too bad. What do you mean by that? Oh, what do you mean by that? Too bad as why? You just going up? Hey, if you know, you know. Period. Oh, that's true. I like it. Keeping it moving in silence, right? So the next question is gonna be: If you were to be a female for a day, what's the first thing you would do? Uh. <laughs>
Got him. Damn, that angle, that's a good question. What would I do? What's the first thing I do? Yeah, yeah, like, what's the first thing you do? Like, I'll give you an example. For me, if I was a female, bro, i get ran by a football team. That's just me, though. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What? Uh, I'll probably, like, look for some hair, for some shit. Like, weaving stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a little far off than what I said, but... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dang, like, that's bizarre. Hey, bro, you got one day to make it count, bro. It's like Piper Perry. <laughs> so the last and final question is, if you, like, you know how there's many red flags, right? What are, like, three big red flags in a female? When she says, like, period. Period. Ooh, okay, like, so, like, period. Ah. Yeah, like. Period. Ah. Period. Oh, that's bad, like. <laughs> that's bad, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that zodiac, zodiac sign. That's what I'm talking about! That's a good one. Yeah, zodiac. that's a good one, yeah. Zodiac sign, the astrology shit. They always believe that shit yeah. right. Like, if I'm a Taurus, they say I'm like, I'm a cheater. And the fucking birdstone just said. Ooh, that's a, that's a good one, bro. The birdstone. <laughs> well, actually, I got one more question. You got a girl BFF? A girl BFF? Yeah, like, best friend? Something like that, yeah. Would you get with her? We fucking got her. Uh, if, if it came down to that, yeah. All right, so today we're here with Dara. So the first question is going to be, what is the biggest red flags in a female? You can give me three if you want to. <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know, like, this is always lying. They always lie? Yeah. Yeah, my ex did the same thing. She lied to me. And... <laughs> so the next question is going to be, if you are to be a female for a day, what's the first thing you would do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I'd probably go somewhere and twerk. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's doing me! Yeah. yeah, you go to a club and just shake that uh, ass for some cash, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. And last and final question is going to be, you have a BFF, right? Like a girl BFF? Something like it. Would you date her? Yeah, because that's my ex. Oh, shit. Like <laughs> oh, shit. I said that, but she blocked me. <laughs> All right, so today we're here with uh, Cupid number one. <laughs> Mr. Cupid himself. So we got a couple questions for you, so you just answer them your best abilities, all right? 12 seconds later. Okay. Let's do it. The first question I'm gonna ask you today is, what is the biggest red flag in a female? Oh, you can give me three. Let you feel oh, comfortable. Rule number one, um, disrespects her mom. Ooh. That's a good Ooh, one. I've never heard that. Her mom. If she can't respect her mom, she has no, like, she has no respect for anybody. Uh, number two is uh, her priorities. If she is, like, Okay, we're gonna have to cut there. <laughs> <laughs> that's true though. Yeah, yeah, her priorities. So if she is like in school, but she's doing other shit where she shouldn't be. Uh, so priorities, I'm not gonna give any examples. So the next question I'm gonna ask you is, if you were to be a female for a day, what's the first thing you would do? Goodness, of course. <laughs> oh, Mark. <laughs> I would respect my mom. I would respect my dad. I know the real. No, I know the real answer. Kidding. I'm just kidding. okay. Well, I guess I guess everybody could guess it at this point. So I'd probably like. What do you mean by that? You know, oh, like play with the nipples. Play, give it a little nipple oh. play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably what I would do. <laughs> okay. I would see what it's like to have some boobs on me. Yeah. See, like me, me personally, if I was a female, I'd just go to a football team and get ran by like four black guys. Hey, yo! What the fuck? Oh. I mean, that's just me personally. I don't know about you. Yeah, no. You want to do that? No, yes. not me. Why? No, that's just... It's too much? I, I just want to play with the nipple a little bit. What is the biggest turn-on for you for a female, and what's the biggest turn-off for you for a female? Oof. Biggest turn-on for a female has to be uh, the mentality. Ooh. Ooh. It has to be the mentality. So if she is, like, on some other shit, if she is just, like, all party, all going crazy, all on six, all on domain, not for me, you know? Get your priorities right. Priorities have to be right. That's a turn on, you know? That's it's just like right. my ex. Damn. Oh, um, it just so happens to be that I know her. <laughs> Wait, which one? Uh, are, are we gonna say names? No, we'll just skip that okay, one. Okay, all right, let's skip <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think this is turn on. Um, oh, turn on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I like an athletic girl. Ooh, okay. If you're athletic. So she got like an all natural booty and like goes to the gym. Okay, I'm not going physical. Uh, all right, all right, Mark. Okay, Mark, okay, see, okay, look, okay. He, you're just assuming, man. I'm not talking about body. <laughs> man, as long as you're exercising, you're doing good, you know. So the next question I'm gonna ask you is, what is one of the biggest regrets that you had in life? Oh uh, shit, that's a good question. Probably not going to like, probably not going to like um, a university. 
you know, I stayed in college, I stayed community college, but if I was to like have my own money, I would probably go to university just to have that like university experience. Just a party, honestly. Just that's a party. It's just a party. Yes! 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 Just to get my freshman year out of the way and like see what it's like to be like a college student. Quote unquote. We fucking got him. Am I doing good guys? <laughs> All right, so today we're here with Kristen. What's the biggest turnoff for you, and what's the biggest turn on for you? Um, turn off is not being able to communicate. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, so Ooh. If, if he's like, say, like he's busy at work for a whole day, how are you gonna feel about that? It's just turn actually, off. you know what? No, that's fine. That's fine. Do your job. Do your yeah. Go to work. Make your money. Nine to five. Ooh, yeah. she a keeper, guys. All right, so when we tag her, y'all go follow her. She's a keeper. <laughs> Anyways, what's your biggest turn on? Probably being athletic, taller than me. So if he's like short but athletic, how you, like we still give him a chance? Short kings for the win? Personality. Like how short? Like we're talking about like like like, 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 like my height. I don't know. I'm pretty like tall. Me. So yeah. how tall are you? Five, five. five eight. Are you like five four? <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> No, the next question is, what's the worst thing about being single and what's the best thing about being single? The worst thing about being single is not having someone to do, like, stuff with. Like cute shit. Like, yeah, cute shit. All the, during the holidays and all that. The best thing is just being able to just Find talk out to everyone. Exactly. And you can talk to whoever talk without nothing. whoever I want. With, yeah. Oh. No restrictions. The last and final question is, at what point in time do you think it is okay to go public with your relationship? Ooh, uh, I think after the three month trial. What do you mean by that? Period. Ooh. Because you gotta see if they're actually a real exactly. one. Exactly. If they're a real one, it's them. they're a real one, then it's But what if he makes it like, say y'all are one month in and he makes it go public? Well, if we're feeling it, if it's it like, depends. if I'm feeling it too, it just depends. It just depends yeah, on the vibe. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I hope y'all like today's video, and yeah. If you actually like it, leave some more questions down below, and I, I think that's pretty much it. What's so funny? What's so funny? Your face!